Welcome back to Hidden Power. This is a Pokemon podcast. Yeah, it is. Justy's half asleep. The wait <laughs> for Pokemon Legends ZA information. The the wait for really any Pokemon news period has been pretty has been pretty bad. Um, no, don't 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 sugarcoat it. It's it continues. Awful. We're <laughs> dying. I am dying of thirst. And all we can go off of are poorly made 4chan rumors. Uh, Riddler Koo is saying Riddling. things, which we will break down in this video. Uh, mm -hmm. Nintendo has also revealed their new console. It is a clock. Uh, we'll be reviewing that later. <laughs> That's kind of a meme. We also are going to be review we're also going to be taking some of your voice mail questions uh, later in the episode. I just got back from Wyoming. I'm on about an hour and so of sleep uh, from last night's flight. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little groggy. This is going to be a fun episode. My name is Dusty Gogo, and I'm also with the Lumios <laughs> Post. What's up? And I stole Soul Swan. And Soul Silver Art. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good Lumi impression. Yeah, that was pretty good. I was um, just gonna do mine, and then I was like, "Oh, hello." <laughs> so I was in Wyoming. Uh, Ku is tweeting stuff. I think a lot of people, like usual, are from my perspective. So you're gonna break this down for us um, uh, of what Ku is talking about. No pressure. Uh, but I just want to be honest with people. I am not. I really just. I've fallen off the bandwagon. Uh, yeah, of, when you were saying that, I was like, Koo. Dusty, who are you, bro? Who are you? This hurt me, my soul. It's, it's, it is nothing personal. It is the fact that I believed him, and he was telling a lot of... He was giving us real information. And then he started giving us information that we bought into for about six months to a year. Didn't come true. It's been another ten months. Still not true. And now the information he gives us never really seems that substantial... I think the comment sections are usually more exciting than what is actually revealed. That is just my I mean, own for what it's worth. That's though. my own perspective. Yeah. That's my own perspective. I, that's and for the record. I think three that's of us a super here. valid perspective. Like I think I I can easily see how someone could come to that perspective. I think the important thing to remember is that uh, you know with Scarlet and Violet, Ku did not start uh, riddling it until about May. Um, so that is six months before release. If we're thinking that this is coming out, you know, Legends EA is coming out in June, then hypothetically, if you follow that same pattern, who wouldn't be able to start riddling it until January? You know, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. it, the fact that he's even hinting at something beyond Legends EA, which is what he's doing here, and we'll, we'll break that, that down. But the fact that he's hinting at that, and he's even said some other things in the past about Gen 10, is honestly, like, unprecedented. Because, I mean, so correct me if I'm wrong, but he's about a year and a half early on that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I think yeah. I think it says a lot about what who his source is, even. <clears throat> because sure. it's possible that his source is not working on Legend ZA. Not that. Yeah, that's probably it. Legends, it's like Lumi said, L Legend ZA leaks shouldn't be happening yet. Because it's still in, like japan and that's it <laughs> like it's not yeah. anywhere else once they like push it out to like localization teams then that's right. when it leaks will start happening yeah um yeah so i, I think i think what i'd like chinese to... i think a lot of people know he's asian and so they you know kind of assume he's japanese and he assumes like they assume like he's getting his he's got information, you know, about information the from company, masuda yeah but it's really he's probably not getting information until the chinese team that's translating it or whatever has it you know or, or someone yeah. it's not He's not getting it from Japan. Yeah, and the, I feel like I say this. Line. I feel like I say this every time. So, like, well, what we want to do today is is definitely just like try to break. I, I like Soul's interpretation of uh, these two tweets about potentially a you know a new project. People are saying Gen Ten, and then also there's some numbers here. Uh, again, a lot of people are speculating this might be the starter Pokemon for Pokemon Legends ZA. That is what we're going to be talking about today. But I say this every time. I it's nothing personal that I don't believe this. I just think. The fact that he's now, I just feel like he tweets a lot suggesting that it's, that he has inside information. And if he doesn't have insider information, then stop pretending like you have insider information. People want to flip this on me. I'm a I, meme account. I don't actually have any inside information. I have a, I'm a, I have a very candid podcast that we put out every single week. You hear my views. You hear my thoughts. You should know that 
what I do is different from what Koo's doing. Koo is literally I, his credibility we, is insider information. Yeah. And I don't kind think he of, has we've had this moment. we've had this conversation a little yeah, bit. But I, I, I always I try will, to set it I will up just for the audience. Do a really short version of it and all I'll say is that right now there's just no leaks and if the man wants to post something on Twitter and he posts something and everyone thinks it's sure. like a leak to something and then it turns out that it's not, they disc that's like, oh, he's discredited because whatever he posted. But he's saying isn't. hint right here. Well, this is different. This okay, is different. Well, if, if I hope it's true. Yeah, but I just feel like a lot of people that have like felt burned is just like he has he really hasn't been wrong about anything except for the Gen Five that, remakes. Yeah, that's it. But that's pretty that's big. Literally, there's it. also been a lot of other little things that were probably scrapped mm, that maybe really. were told to him. But and that's fine. There's there, there yeah. can be a room for it. There can be room for error. I do feel yeah. I know I know what you're saying. You're saying people are. I just don't. I don't know why people would just they just forget. You know what I mean? You forget. All, no, because he's been leaking he, stuff since Legends RC. Yeah, because that before. stuff was right. That information was right. I think mm -hmm. people don't question Anyways, we always that get he ever this. had inside yeah. information. I think they question, does he still have it? And again, just speaking objectively, I I am, you know, to clarify my, my place on this argument, I am a believer that Ku has inside information to this day, but I can objectively see how people are doubting that, you know? Yeah. 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 But yeah, anyways, yeah. so, okay, let's, let's dissect this first one right here. Uh, Riddler cool. Let me, let me zoom it in real quick. New project hint, colon prayer hand emoji. Although there's some, you know, I've seen some people think this is a high five emoji. I think it technically is supposed, supposed to be a high five <laughs> yeah. emoji, but it it, it's a, it, it means prayer hand. hand. It's, it's yeah. the Mandela effect. Yeah. Go yeah, yeah, subscribe. I mean, the secret subscribe power. Subscribe. Whatever. Yeah. Our, <laughs> kid in, our secret power. We talked about uh, that. So, Sol, what is what does this mean? Tell tell me tell me, tell the people I have what this no means. idea what this means. <laughs> Nobody knows what it means, but it's a new project. Okay, um, that's the the main thing. So it's he's not. You should just stay on his. So maybe I can like explain from okay from him, because I I posted so much stuff in between now. Yeah, and you then. did. You did. Oh, yeah. It's just, just tell us. I'll try to find. Well, it. I need. I kind of need to see it. Okay. Um, but because of what he says after, you know, because okay. so new project. All right, not not uh Legend ZA, which is Ikaku what he says. Is the code name for that. Yeah, Ikaku is neck. That's what he says. Yeah. And it's then, important to remember that he always like refers to games as their code names. Like he always referred to SV when he was teasing about it as Titan. Cool. You want to know why too? It's because it's not. We only know the English words, and he doesn't know the the English names of them. Sometimes. Oh, so like he doesn't even know it's called like Scarlet, something like that. You know, oh, that's interesting. I mean, that's it's cool. it's ZA in all languages though, isn't it? ZA, yeah, ZA is like that. But I don't know. For this, maybe it's just to not be caught or anything. Yeah. Anyway, um, then he says, check the replies. A few people nailed it so quickly. Good job. So if you were to go through the replies, you could see a whole bunch of people saying certain things. Um, Most common replies were India or Italy. I don't know why I said it like that. I don't now think we that's wait necessarily to see true. Which. Um, you can go go back for a second, though, Dusty, because the, the next comment down below, if you go back again. Oh, back again? Mm -hmm. Go down. Because right you here? just read his reply. His replies are what is important, not everybody okay. else's. So then my guy says, I hope it's not Project Bloom. Sorry, I can't read it. Oh, um, J.A. Miles, shout out to you if you even watch us. <laughs> I hope this is a Project Bloom uh, info because Gen 10 feels so far out, especially when y'all don't have hints for Legend ZA. I really don't want another region in Europe, LOL. Ku says it's Pokemon related. Akaku is not a big deal, to be fair. Oh, um, my which heart. Hurts. Everyone is, gets upset about that, but I mean, yeah. it is important to know that that's that's opinion, right? I mean, like, what does that even know? mean? It's not a big deal. He's saying Gen Ten is not a big deal. No, Ikaku is Legend oh, ZA. He's saying yeah. Legend yeah. ZA sure. is not a big. deal. So it's not a big deal to Nintendo or yeah, to him. Think... I, it depends what he he means, you know. Sure, and yeah, it also not... could be in comparison, right? Because like he's been yes. drumming up Gen Ten for a while now, so he could just really what he means by that is that in comparison to this project, Ikaku is not um, Legend ZA is not yeah. a big deal. 
Sure. So this is the most important one that explains this tweet, since that's what you were asking. Um, Sunrise says, oh, is is this different? Is it a post game or an app game? And he says the big one after Ikaku. Okay, so what's the big game after I- Legend ZA? What's the big game that's yeah, coming is after? Is it an what's, app game? What's... Is it like Pokemon Pocket? Or yeah, but is, is it, it going to be a That wouldn't be a big game. That's not yeah, the big is it, one. Is exactly. It, are, yeah. Is a mobile game going to be bigger than Legend ZA? What the, What's bigger than Legend Z8? That's all I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> There's only oh, one come thing. on, Pocket. He's <laughs> talking about Gen 2. There's two hands. It's Gen 2 coming to Pokemon Pocket. And you need two right, hands Thank to you play guys so much. TCG. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. No. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. So, it's clearly Gen 10 related. And that's what most people said. And that's why he was like, oh, so many people got it. Um, I, I mean, that's a Gen fun 10. thought, man. It's it's definitely fun. Uh you know, so what regions are we looking at? Because I do think a lot of people have been well, jumping on this. I think, uh, shout out to Yori, because Yori uh, posted this. And, you know, I want to make sure that when we use someone's theory, we credit them. Um, sure. Uh, you that's, know, no shade or anything. No, that's, 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 um, that's good. But uh, uh, Yori mentioned on there, uh, she broke it all down, but Yori's also the mod of our Discord, and she's shout amazing. Shout out, Yori. Uh, but anywho, she broke down this and like basically said, you know, given that Ku seems to get the uh, um, project names, the code names pretty early, you know, Ikaku for Legends EA, Titan for SV, uh, a lot of these code names are a constellation. Like uh, Titan is a constellation. Um, mm. The one for Brent Diamond, Shiny Pearl, that's a constellation. Like pretty much they're almost all constellations. So you have the prayer symbol. And a lot of people like took that to mean India. And I think yeah. a lot of people are jumping the gun. <laughs> Your I... point out, a lot of people are instantly going like, oh, it's an India region. Mm-hmm. But it, it's probably a hint to the project name, which yeah. there is a constellation True. called Indus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our friend, uh, the cool. hybrid hero, like is the one that broke this news to us. Like I, I was like waking up because I'm in a different time zone. And it was just like hybrid just blasted like Same. group message. He's like, wake up, wake up. And honestly, <laughs> he was like, "Can I be on the podcast?" And we were like, "I don't, I don't even know what, what he said, bro. He sh- I don't even know." We what do. He said, we should get him back on. Though. It's been way too long. He was freaking out about it being India. He was like, "No shot. Yeah. There's yeah. no way," and all this stuff. But he's like, I mean, I rep it. Possible. He's like, "I rep it, it so possible. hard. I want it to be real." Yeah. He it said, "You know, possible. I'm I'm from Sri Shri- Lanka, but rep India." Listen, I'm the same way, man. I'm from New Hampshire, but I rep Boston. You know? For the record, yeah. too, even if this is just a hint at the project name being Indus, that still means that, yeah, sure, it could be India. I think, though, the the important thing to remember is, again, what we said at the beginning of this episode, Ku gets information on, like, the actual game itself, like, content in the game yeah. pretty late, you know? Uh, like, when, when Legend ZA was revealed, he did not know about Legend ZA yet. He only knew the project name of whatever the next project was. Um. Mm-hmm. It, when uh, Scarlet and Violet was revealed, uh, that morning he did tweet out like hints at the starters, but that was because a Chinese trademark got leaked. He gets his uh, his information later down the line. So the likelihood that this also is for a multiple hint, different things, yeah, it's not that's always also true. the same. Yeah, but the likelihood that you know, if we're assuming that Gen 10, honestly, even if we're assuming that Gen 10 is November of next year, I imagine it's November of 2026. But even mm-hmm. if we assume it's November of next year, this is still really early for Ku to uh, it, anything can change. But this is really early for Ku to know the region that it's set in. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if he does know that. He knows something, and that's what these two hands are. And we don't know what the two hands means, basically. But there's a lot of things that you can glean from this, basically. His source is probably working on Gen 10 instead of Legend ZA, so Which that's is a big one. Cool. Um, yeah. If also, we can get more information about that. Also, sooner, what I'm he's happy. saying, what he's saying about Ikaku not being a big deal, um, Legend ZA not being a big deal, is because he already has leaks for Gen 10, but he still doesn't have any leaks for for Legend ZA, and that means sure. that they're working. He he's feeling probably like they're working more on Gen 10. Yeah. Than than on Legends EA. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're yeah. prioritizing it more, in a sense. No, it makes That's sense. I, like, yeah. I'm the guy who always brings up Marvel. We're hearing a lot more whispers about Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret War than we are hearing about the Thunderbolts, yeah, right? Yeah, you know? Yeah. Because it's going to be a bigger deal. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And then the nice thing about that is that doesn't mean Thunderbolts won't be a big deal or it won't be good. But, you know, it's to niche. use that to this comparison, you yeah, know, no, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I, I really like the idea of because I forgot about this Project Bloom. This was a con. This was like a, a new... <laughs> that's what that guy was saying. He was like, Please yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloom. <laughs> I forgot what it was. And then. But that's like, really that's such a real take, though. Like, that's the thing with coup that. A so lot of so Project realize. Bloom. Can you guys ex- can you explain what, what it is? It's, uh, it's, 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 an- a, it's another game, game that Game Freak is working on. Right. There but it is. Not they're working on it. Yeah, and this is a concept on it with someone else. Sure. OK. It's like, it's like four of them are joining another team. That's literally all it is. That's, that's um, cool. Yeah, believe well, it or who not, knows? Game like this does actually, more than Pokemon. This actually could There's be what they're working on, and maybe this is what Chris is talking jockey. about. Is that what it's called? You know, the, you know, what I'm talking about the little horse game. There's Little Town Hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a um, lot of games. There's like 20 games, and they're not very while, popular. While what you said, Dusty, can always it should always be considered. He said that it wasn't Project Blue. Oh, he did so. say that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, just we, so we read just that the earlier. clarity of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, but when you're reading coup tweets, you should think like that. Oh, it could be Project Bloom. Oh, yeah. it could not be the, it could the be... starters. It could be something else. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not always what everyone thinks it is, especially when the, the mass starts being yeah. like, oh, it's got to be this, you know? And a lot Sometimes. of the fun of his riddles and what, where he got a lot of his following is the fact that they're obscure and then we can kind of just like, yeah. you know, and yeah, they're the not riddle. clearly understandable and allows us to like have a conversation and be like, okay, well, what do we think this, this means? Right. It, mm-hmm. This, he is the opposite of, of the other leaker uh, from the Scarlet and Violet era ah. who just released images of everything. Right. Cause there's no speculation yes. there. There's no fun. Right. There. Uh, yeah, it, during think, the dry period, and as we as we can see, the Pokemon Company has no interest in in drip feeding us information, mm-hmm. right? Literally, it's been quiet they since February. Right <laughs> you know, it's October. Right it's been now. eight months, I, dude. It literally has I, been eight months. If if there is nothing this month, someone could have gotten pregnant and had a baby. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's true, between, dude. That's a long time. The dark a, ages, a new human know? exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But no, I, I think that's something, too, that makes people, you know, feel like he's less credible is that he'll drop these hints that are not related to what people want it to be. But, like, you kind of have to self-reflect and go, is that on Ku? Or yeah, is that it's on so tr- that's so yeah. real. You know? It's like, it's um, not what you want, but that doesn't mean that it's not something. Right. It's yeah. something. Uh, and then, like, the flip side of that is, too, you know, the thing that makes who's leaks fun is kind of like what you said dusty there's no room for speculation if someone just drops a picture of yeah. you know mega i don't know uh umbreon i right? miss the like emojis yeah like i mean you need some kind of tease right I miss, and i miss the picture and i though, think if the, the yeah, fact that who puts out some riddles that aren't even related to like the next thing we're looking at that kind of helps us get more speculation for the future ones and i think that's also partly why he does it yeah is to kind of just always keep you on your toes mm-hmm. well yeah no i'm, I'm with you he so, also is still named coup beating around the bush and yeah. so that's something else too is you have to ask yourself is he beating around the bush i just i i mean i think he just doesn't have anything else to, to, yeah. to talk about so that's probably why and then um, once so, something big happens he'll probably change his name yeah so he tweeted uh, this on october 1st uh but also while i was away yeah before he, that though he, what before this yeah before this the uh, before this he this. said something yeah that's that's what we were kind of already talking about but it, it was important. he said uh which is october 1st right up sh- up a little bit akaku soon pre-odd akaku soon pre-odd pre-order right yeah i think that's yes. what people think yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so he's saying it's gonna happen soon and i also do think like next week uh, we're recording this on the 9th of October. Um, so next week, I think we could get news. Oh, but then I'm like, or it could be the week yeah. after. This or it could is, be the week yeah. after. You realize the horrible part of that, though. So mm. with pre-orders, because this happened with uh, Legends Arceus and Brand Diamond Shining Pearl. Uh, you know, they were those games were announced in February. And then in May, we did not get a trailer for them, but we got uh, the release dates and the box art. It was literally like a shadow drop thing. There was no trailer. They just won random, like Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Pokemon went, here's the cover art of Brand Down China Pearl. Here's the cover art of Legends Arceus. 
Brain Diamond Shiny Pearl comes out this date. Legends Arceus comes out this date. And Keep now going. there's pre-orders available. But so, that's, that's literally what I think is going to happen. Like so what? You, yeah, like it could be no trailer. Just here's... The box art. Here's the release date. Goodbye. Let's let's wait to see if Dusty can hear us. Really no, quick. just keep keep going. I have to take this phone call. Hold on. Okay. Uh -oh. Just keep going. <laughs> we can wait. No, we can they, wait. We can wait. They hung up. No, just keep going. I don't want to edit this video. Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> you said I don't um, want to edit. <laughs> um, I was saying so. to uh, Soul Dusty that Legends Arceus, when their pre-orders went up, there was no trailer. They just dropped the box art and dropped the release date of the game. That could be what's happening here. I think. That is a very, very likely scenario. And then not based on anything that I've heard, but that just feels right. At the same time, we've talked about this. It's like, why, how could they do that when there's eight months of not getting anything and then they just do like a box art thing reveal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, what in the world? Um, but I think, I think it's possible because they have already revealed the game. You know, sure. it's not like if it was the first time ever, then yeah, maybe you would be like, okay. This is weird, <laughs> but yeah, we get the box art. We get the starters on, on the box art. I think that just feels right to me, actually. The box art, the release date, and the starters. Oh, if we get the starters, then I'm good. Oh, I like, think the I'm... starters are coming because Ku has said that the starters were going to come. That's like from a leak that he, or a leak, a uh, riddle that he posted um, a while yeah, back. He said the starters would be revealed uh, before the end of this year. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I think either the starters would be on the box art or we would get a trailer eventually before the end of this year. Or if they push it back, you know, you never know. They might push back something. Um, because we did talk about as well that it's possible that the whole game got pushed back. But yeah. now that he's talking again about it, this gives me hope that it yeah. is probably going to come out in like J June or uh, May even. Yeah, well, you know? and then the, the thing is to think about like, usually we start getting a trailer in like june before a november release so that's five months before release so if it is coming out in june or may there's actually not really much cause to be concerned that it's getting delayed unless mm -hmm. we don't get something in january or february you know which yeah, yeah, yeah. we almost definitely will so like unfortunately i know we don't want to think this way it sucks but like unfortunately we are still very much within like the time frame that we shouldn't get a trailer. There is also the fact with Scarlet and Violet, um, I think people think the next trailer has to be a Presents, but with Scarlet and Violet, uh, there was a June trailer and it wasn't a Presents. They just literally said like, hey, tomorrow morning we're dropping Scarlet and Violet news. And the next morning there was a three minute trailer revealing Small of Pommet, uh, or Pommy rather, uh, LeChonk and the Legendaries. So it could be something like that too, where Pokemon just drops a trailer. There doesn't have to be a Presents. Yes, I don't I think, think there will be a presence. Actually, I don't think so either. Yeah, I think it will be if it if there's any footage, it'll be a trailer. Um, and I mean, Lumi, you almost convinced me that there won't be. I'm like thinking that there's really just gonna be like, remember Legend Z A? Like it's in a tweet, like, right? Remember Legend Z A? Like you can pre-order it now with this like date and then the box art. Boom. That's you know it. how like, that's the tweet. You know that's how the like the. <laughs> The Pokemon Twitter, the the uh, American one at least, like it's very like that guy's on it. You know what I mean? Like he posts or or mm -hmm. she, you know, whoever they post like very good, like like they're they're caught up with the memes and all, and they're they're always very. Uh, they show that they they're aware of the community when yes, they indeed. make posts, mm -hmm. and uh, I I think it would be hilarious if when we get news they post it with it's been three thousand years. And I'm then it's I'm the... waiting for the day they should man. I don't know if you saw, but I commented, replied to them yesterday because they they said something like it's finally time, and it was like a blue a purple heart, but they were talking about Halloween, and so <laughs> I was just like I nah, I replied and I was cool. like I was like this tweet gave me a heart attack <laughs> and like that literally to them. No, they don't ever reply to me though they don't ever reply to me if you've got mm -hmm. notifications enabled all you're gonna see is it's finally time oh my god that's what happened my company you know yeah that's what happened it's finally there's time. Such a I was like, nine. there's such a yeah team. i was like and they never replied like uh the pokemon uk me and them we talk all the time that's the pokemon funny. uh uh what is it international TCG? international no tcg one they're oh, cool TCG. too like they will talk to you 
That's cool. Yeah. Main uh, one, it's just a person. Main... It's a person who has access I know. to the account. I have seen they will they will interact with like uh they'll only interact that with their partners. partnered with. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah they're, like, they're yeah. partners. I see with. them interact with uh Glitchek City yeah. and uh Agent V a lot. Um, I have to take that back though. That it's not only because they also do with like little accounts that sure. yeah. are like maybe artists or like they're not doing solely no. our games are. You they're know? not, no, they're not, not messing not. around every with time, us. Every time um, I'm like, yo, they actually hid my my comment once. They hid wow. one of my replies. Yeah. What'd you say? I no, I I think I posted one of my theories on it or something like. Just they're like, this look. is too good. Pause. Dude, how have it's we not make covered us this? The fact that they hid that probably <laughs> means it's true, and they thought you were leaking their game again. It was a long time ago, but yeah, yeah they just yeah. hid the reply. I was like, dang, this is cold. You all are cold for doing this. Um, you remember when they posted Porygon did nothing wrong, and then they deleted yeah. the tweet? Wow. Mm. We I've made fun of them a few times actually. It's fine. Like, so I th it's fine. You know, Matt, you It's kinda, nothing personal. There's, he, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. roasts every single Pokemon account that exists. He Like, anytime they do something wrong, he'll, like, roast their, like, especially Pokemon Go. He's, That's like, out funny. there to get Niantic. Dude, did He'd you be a anyway, cool guest to have on the pod, for the record. <clears> oh, dude, he's cool. he's cool. He's cool. He's I've, cool. I've got um, a, yeah. I've got a uh, piece of furniture being delivered in probably, like, five minutes. So mm. we can keep going. Uh, but we can, I, I might we can have to go until they come and then... I'll just yeah, pause the recording then, and I'm yeah. not editing any of this out. Uh, what uh, what we also have to talk about today, uh, Ku also, this is what I'm saying. Like it, it seems a little silly. He tweeted I know out. Move, I know you're moving ahead really quick, but what else just, is there to like, talk about? It's just crazy. Is it not crazy? What he said pre-orders and and Legends EA news soon. Like it's happening soon. I don't. Think but I don't believe it. it. Why don't you believe it? It's true because you've been doesn't believe months. Ku. You've been I don't believe Ku. Waiting. Well, no, so, dude, it's so real. what does soon mean? Does that soon mean in soon six months? So or does soon, soon mean soon this is week? Vague. Because soon, soon is means vague. anything. But, I mean, he also, at he max, posted. I would say oh, there's two, two months. Yeah, there's four letters in soon. That means four weeks. No, that means no, no, nothing September, like that. Uh, that means November 1st. Got it. People get too Let's break crazy. this down. The I don't want to listen. We like have to move five. on. We the have to move o on. Looks a lot like a zero. The other O exactly, looks a lot yeah. like a zero. Yeah. And then we have N. What does N stand for? And what's a unit of time? And that zero starts with, starts with a Z. And there's it's gonna an be A in Kaku, which means Z A. All like, I'm saying is I'm sorry for all you people <laughs> that are hurt out there by the Pokemon Company and by Ku. Yeah, that, yeah. that you're just we're the, we're the real you're, victims. you're hurt. That's the problem. But I'm hyped because this I'm means hyped that too, we're getting man. news soon. I'm hyped too because like, I know. Here's the thing. Of course, there's news coming soon. When really? we because don't know. We're like a lot of people think that there's not going to be news until Pokemon we're going to get news sooner than later. My At wife this point, thinks that there will not be news uh, in 2024. I told her I think she's wrong, but yeah, that's, that's, that's where she's at. Let's I mean, move, if you believe Ku right let's here, let's move you on. Ku also tweeted three numbers: three, three five, five, eight, eight. And Austin John plays. Actually, tell me about this. Responded. I don't. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred. And I he laughed at it. So it is he doing math? Kind of I didn't get it either. I think it's math. I really don't understand it. <laughs> it must be math. I don't know what math that is, though. Yep. I, don't I have understand. no. Someone explain this. Actually, yeah, wait, hold on. There's comments. Three times five times eight is not 525,600. Price for the next console. I don't I have get no it. Idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I think it might have been maybe five. him trolling, like, who posted numbers. So he's sure, like, sure. I'll post numbers. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyways. This has sparked a lot of discussion. Uh, people, mm -hmm. I think, fairly because everyone knows that it's actually a riddle. Unlike yes, the yeah. rest. Yes, yes, everything else has not been like a riddle. Like this is yeah. very riddle, which is fun. Which is fun. Like, I I, I, I'm down for the riddle. So, so just for listeners who are not on Twitter uh, religiously, what people have assumed is that three, five, and eight are perhaps. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can interpret it, but they mm -hmm. indicate three sets, uh, uh, three different starter Pokemon for Legend ZA. I think. Uh, let's go over to Soul's page now because so you broke it down pretty well. There's a couple different options. I think you could While look, you at, look it, at it. I will also say some people think it's like three plus five plus eight is eighteen or sixteen, excuse me. Sure. And so some people think like they're saying October sixteenth is news because that's a Wednesday. Yeah. Some yeah. people are saying three five eight that adds up to sixteen. Maybe sixteen new designs and Legend Z A. Sure. Some mm. people I liked one that said. Uh, Three regional forms, five 
uh, cross-gen evolutions, and uh, then um, eight, eight megas. mega evolutions. That, if you go that down, one kind of made sense to me. That was Cardinal who posted that, yeah, by the way. If you go down into the original, yeah, that one, this is the whole thread. So, like, basically, to break it down really, really fast, uh, the numbers are three, <laughs> five, and eight, so they would be the, the starters. That's instantly where everyone's brain went to because Ku has said that the starters will be revealed. So, And then he said Ikaku soon, so that means that maybe he has the information that from the trailer or something. Yeah. So in order, if they were in order, it would be Trico, Tepig, and Sobble. Not bad. You know what I mean? Like if it's in order how they're presented in the post. Sure, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's always grass, fire, water. Yeah, it's like Ku did it in order. So like from and Gen when you're 3, saying in order, fire. it's like, yeah, Lumi, usually it's oh, next order. the grass Pokemon, the fire Pokemon, yeah. and the water Pokemon. From that Gen was something 3, I think a lot of people type. didn't pick up on. Yeah. Which is, that, it's cool. It's a cool detail. If he did it in order, that's what it would be. And if it's, if Sobble's on the team, I'm like freaking out. Yeah. Um, Dude, if, but, if Torchic gets in, I'm freaking out. I love Torchic. <laughs> Um, so uh, this was just my first go at it and I just posted three random ones because it can be any of any sure. of from three, five, or eight. And so these are the three that I personally would die for. I would have Torchic, I said in my other tweet, yeah. I need them all on my team. I would have them all. Yeah, this lineup is crazy. Snivy, Torchic, Sobble. Wow. I don't so think cool. that it's realistic, but it could, yeah. I want it. I it's like just that it. it's two two reptiles that are kind of similar. Yeah. Kind of throws it off a bit. The, but um, no, 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 no. It's not really a reptile. It's an amphibian. Huh? No. What? He's a lizard. It's an Buddy, amphibian. Buddy, do you think a chameleon is a uh, amphibian? <laughs> What's a chameleon? No. A sobble? He's not what, a, what is sobble? A chameleon. I don't know, dude. He doesn't have a snout. I don't think it's a chameleon. He's got either. a mouth I hole. Think just like a really It literally lizard. camouflages. What is with y'all? Bro, true, Vaporeon true, true, true. camouflages. It's like a baby little weird. Is Vaporeon chameleon. a no, lizard? No, Vaporeon doesn't camouflage. Vaporeon, uh, like, becomes water. Sobble does that too. No, it doesn't. Right. It Scroll disappears. Down. I'm playing 60 <laughs> chess right now, buddy. No, you're not. <laughs> so, wait, is that, the no, big hold on, brain? Hold on, like, just keep going, keep going. Oh. We can't keep He's going so without your scrolling. <laughs> no, we can. We've got this. We've got this. Let's break this down. Um, Where did he, where'd you go for like? I, I might have to go, so just keep talking. All is right, what I'm trying well, to let say. us know because you, you have to scroll though. Um, scroll up. Tell him where to go so he can stay there while we're still talking. Yeah, they're here. So tell me where to, to, to show up. All I said or was I the can big pause brain. and it'll take twenty minutes. Mm. Yeah. All I said was the big brain response was what we already talked about. Okay. The Cardinals thing. Let's go. Um, people yeah. were saying that it couldn't be Torchic because of Megas, but that's silly. I think Torchic has the most reason because it's literally the French national well, symbol. I don't yeah. think it's silly. Like, you know, I I do think people, like, I personally have had my eye on Jim 4 because, I mean, you know, you have Jim right 1 back. has Megas. All right. See you, man. Um, a Jim 1 has Megas. Uh, Gen 2 has um, the uh, 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 Typhlosion has an Asuian form. Gen 3 has Megas. Gen 4 has nothing. Gen 5 has a Hisuian form. Gen 6 has, if you want to be technical, Ash Greninja. And I think we're all kind of thinking they might get Megas uh, this time <laughs> mm -hmm. around too. Yeah, yeah. And then Gen 7 has exclusive Z-moves and a Hisuian form. Gen 8 has Gigantamax forms. Uh, Gen 9 has nothing, but they're, you know, literally just brand new. So, all like, right. Gen 4 is the only classic older starter trio that has nothing to their name yeah. and yeah. gym four as a region gets incredibly overlooked like you know that gym four does not have a single regional variant like no gym four mon has a like gen literally sucks. mr mime <laughs> has a has a regional variant and they just skip mime jr like they're like no we cannot give anything to a gym four pokemon i mean mime jr though he's already like an addition right you know it's like they added Mime Jr. to... Right, but that's an addition to, to a Gym 1 line. Not not really in... A, like, Gym 4... They did get Megas, but, like, they still haven't gotten a regional form. They haven't gotten any kind of current form. They didn't get Gigantamaxes. They didn't get exclusive Z-moves. Um, you know, Terrestrial forms are only a thing for Terrapagos and Ogre Pond, despite our beliefs. The closest mm -hmm. thing you could say is <laughs> that there is a Gym 4 Paradox. There is Iron Valiant, but you know what? He shares that 
with, for one, it's really more inspired by Mega Gallade, not Gallade. So really, it's it's a Gen 6 uh, design, mm-hmm. got something. And then it also shares it with Mega Gardevoir anyway. So it's not even fully Gallades. Yeah, it's sad. I don't. I hate that actually about Iron Valiant. <laughs> I mean, it. Look, I just, I just think Gym Force do something. But either way, um, I, I would be floored to see a Gen Three Pokemon appear in the starter lineup purely because you also have to think of it as like a marketing thing. Which you know, I'll immediately discredit that by saying that the Pokemon Company has shown time and time again that they suck at marketing. Um. But you have, uh, if they reveal the starters, and let's say for a moment that it is Trico, Tepig, and Sobble. Let's say for a moment it is. They reveal the starter lineup as Trico, Tepig, Sobble. Mm-hmm. Because the last Legends game, the starters got something, the automatic fan perception is going to be these starters are going to get something. And because Legends EA is a game that takes place in Kalos, and we know for a fact that Mega Evolution will be a part of these games, I think most people are going to assume that these starters are going to get a Mega Evolution. And if that's the case, Lame. they're looking at these starters, and you would mm. you would think, most people would think, unless you're a huge Sceptile fan, which they're out there, Sceptile's a great mon, but like most people are going to look at that lineup and go, okay, well, I'm not going to use Trico because I've already used Mega Sceptile. I'd rather use Mega Embor or Mega Intellion because it's new. And yeah, maybe... Can... Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. Finish. No, finish your thought. Maybe they would give, instead of Megas, a regional variant. Or maybe they'd give a new Mega, so we'd have a different Mega Sceptile. But unless they reveal that before the game's release, the fan perception, which is what you have to think about, is that Trico is the boring starter. Or whoever, if it's Torchic, if it's Mudkip, this is the boring starter in this lineup because it's not getting anything new. Maybe it will, but the fan perception, until that is revealed is that it's going to be it's not getting it do they really care about the fan perception that's the question you know i have no idea i don't think so and i think that as long as they revealed them like that trico so to me it would be like obviously it already has a mega so it's going to get a different one like a like a charizard x or y you know what i'm saying yeah it's got to be a different category it can't just be another mega but you're you're a long-term pokemon fan who's mm-hmm. like aware of, you know, kind of uh, past patterns and, and understanding they probably aren't going to do this. The average casual video game player is going to see it and they're not going to assume that there's regional variants. They're, they're probably yeah. going to assume there's mega evolutions because that's what they're marketing the game on. And they're probably going to see Trico and go, that's a Pokemon that already has a mega evolution. So why would I want to use that? Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. And to answer that, I would say they will... If that was the case, they would reveal the final evolutions megas before the and game I hope they do. out. Before the game comes out, like you know, I like... think, like think of it like, like linguistically, right? I'm at I'm at the office, right? I'm a 30 year old man. I'm at the office. I'm talking to my. I'm, we're around the water cooler, right? Like, hey. or, or how about this? What's the text that you Our send your buddy? Sucks. You go, hey, did you see Trico Sobble whatever get new mega evolutions? That works whether they have a new an evolution or not. The, the mega is new. All the all Game Freak would have to do is like maybe call it something different, like you're saying, like Mega Z or whatever, right? That's yeah. mechanically how it would be classified. But like, if it gets a new mega, that doesn't matter. I think you're right. They they maybe they what they need to do is show it though. Yeah, yeah. that's what that's and what I would. was just talking about. Was that they, they would they show would it need eventually? To show it. Yeah, I don't think they'd show it at first, but they would show oh, it no. eventually. Yeah. yeah, they would just give us the trio, and that's it. Like that's all say, I'm expecting. I- I'm really upset that you switched to the text thing, Dusty, because I was hoping uh, we could like role play the water cooler scenario, you know. But it's fine. <laughs> um, um, uh, also, hey, but it does say yeah. it says one more thing though too about them, and it says, "What if they don't get megas? What if they are just getting regional forms, and that's the reason? Do you know what I mean? Like the reason that they it has a mega, so Guys, I really all of think, them are getting regional yeah. forms instead. Um, I you know? again thinking about Legends Arceus, like I really do think. We're just gonna get some simple regional forms. I hope so. Whoa! Well, can we back <laughs> up? Are you saying you'd prefer megas to regional forms? No, I would prefer oh. regional forms, and I think okay, that's. Good. I you think said that simple, it, like as if you're putting it down. No, I think I think the mega con- once you add megas into the conversation, it gets really complicated. 
That's like I mean, that's I just, what we've been I, discussing for the last year. Every time we I do know, like I a, know. a starter I video, it's a, like, uh, how does it make sense? Yeah. We but if they just get regional forms, long. that's all it is, and I think it's clean. Especially and I, if they do give the Kalo starters mechas, which I think we're all kind of thinking, like, will that they make more sense. want? It, well, and not only would it make more sense, but would it make sense to give the Kalo starters it and also these starters? Because then it's it's kind of taking away from each other you know what i mean yeah like you no, i know what you're saying yeah it's like i feel like no okay i was gonna say this didn't work but it actually worked out this well this way it worked out well this way i'm also only i'm i'm sleep deprived sorry um in the or in x and y they're mm -hmm. like you get two sets of starters but they do play right, right, very right. different things right the canto mm -hmm. starters are a return but they get a new form the Cal starters are just straight up new. And I think right. with these starters, whatever starter configuration we get, if they get regional forms like in Legends Arceus, that's the new, it's just a new set of starters. That's essentially what it right. is. They evolve differently in Lumio City. And it's also like, you know, we keep, we keep asking like, well, what defines a, a Legends game? And if, and if the game, it does take place in present day or if it's a little bit in the future, like I don't know. I think I think the starters are a huge part of this. For I sure. Think, I think the I, starters are a defining factor of of the legends. Oh, absolutely. They, they what is everyone are. talking about? No one honestly like people aren't even of course the discussions out there, but more so than people talking about new mega evolutions in this game, yeah. people are talking about who will our starters be. That's yeah. what That's people like are talking about. That's like literally like the discussions have just been the starters and the time period of which this yeah. game is right. set in. And part and of that is like that we don't have it. anything to work on. Like we put up yeah, a clip on our clips channel, Hidden Power Plus, and it was just called like something something speculation. And we got a bunch of comments that were just like, "No, <laughs> like there's nothing to speculate on," which I was so surprised weird. by. I was like, "It's, it's weird that people are like that." But yeah, either way, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's the uh, just a, a very loud minority. I think the majority yeah, of people. Yeah. I mean, all this stuff with Koo's little tweet shows that people people like to speculate off of nothing because it's it's better yeah. than just sitting here with nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm having. I mean. What do y'all want to do? Y'all want to <laughs> next time a Pokemon game gets announced, just cover that trailer and then not just do end a the pod podcast. again until yeah. the next trailer. You I, know? Mean, I mean, there are well, there's a lot of podcasts for you. Yeah, there's a lot of, <laughs> there's yeah, a lot of people. Who, yeah. No shade to them, um, but this is more no, fun. not I like at all. To but get those juices flowing. This and I like is to sit here and hear your ideas and wonder what that could look like and share my ideas and wonder what that could yeah, look like. You know, of course. But at the same time, going back to Megas. This, this whole game could just be megas that's all i have to say oh yeah like, you know like it could just i did a tweet earlier and it, it was just like megas can be the alphas megas can be the ride pokemon megas can be your starters final forms megas can be everything in this game will game freak do that like is that their focus yeah we don't know but that's it's mm -hmm. very possible that it could just be megas oh, yeah. maybe changed like we've talked about in the past but you know it hurts my soul to think that. <laughs> Can we just um, talk about two? And I understand people are saying it's because of the raid event that happened. But look, Pokemon's done a lot of starter raid events in Scarlet and Violet. Oh my gosh. They the have not hyped it's up dumb. any Pokemon oh, this. more than yeah. Superior. <laughs> That's so wild. You can go to my, my Twitter, but there's like a thousand. They must have posted five or six um, Superior and not just videos? superior, but Snivy. Like they posted a little GIF of Snivy and Rowlet, and we're like, "Shout out to Dapper Grass types," you know? Yeah, dude, insane. Yeah. If you go, if you click those, those are yeah. all tweets. All those images There's, there that's are Pokemon, Pokemon UK thing. tweets. They're yeah, they're all from the UK except for one too. So that is does have a play a factor. The one that isn't from the UK, that one is from main Pokemon though, and it's Rowlet and Snivy. So it's and like Snivy, same. not even Superior. Mm -hmm. Like it's not a Snivy raid; it's a Superior raid. Yeah. Um, it's bask in the glory man. of the Long King. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Pokemon UK is based though. Where does Snivy fall in your Grass type first partner Pokemon tier list? I don't think anyone's ever made one of those. There was also whoever one runs this account said, might be following us. It might be watching our stuff. Yes. There was also <laughs> one where they said like, "Fill in the blank." Superior is, and like you yeah. know, you're supposed to fill in the blank. I like slithering into the weekend. Said, like, oh, I love. This. I responded to it and said, "My legend's the A starter." <laughs> yeah, which is only it's only right. It's actually um, insane how much they're like. There's a shirt. I know. Yeah, that's not actually from the official Pokemon company though. I found oh, out. Okay. 
so right. it doesn't matter that much. Um, you can and go the back up. That's yeah. official, right? The calendar. He's on the calendar. He's on a and bunch of stuff. That is official, though. The calendar, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can go up, Dusty, to the just this one. Let's just close out the starter yeah, yeah. topic because I want to move on. Which to is that? Thing. Yeah. All that this is is that these are the four possible categ- like uh, groups of starters from those numbers that Koo revealed. So like these would be our starters. Yeah. One of these. So groups. yeah, for listeners, category one, Trico, Tepig, Sobel, category two, Snivy, Torchic, Sobel, category three. Oh, this is getting juicy. Grookey, mm-hmm. Tepig, and Mudkip. Interesting. Ooh. And category four is Snivy, Score Bunny, and Mudkip. I got to go, dude, I got to go group two. The group Trico two is fire. Yeah, That's the gr- all that there is to it. But Honestly, I think yeah. group one could also be very cool because I think Embor has a lot of potential. I think, you know, I know you guys like Inteleon. Trico is awesome. That, that could be cool. That could be yeah, cool. Yeah, but you got to think of what it would become. Like either as a mega or a regional form, it would be awesome. Yeah, it would be cool. You know? Yeah. You're not thinking about the final evolutions that we have. Group three you know. is the most boring. Group three is terrible. Yeah, group three would, is a bunch of like, it's all quadrupeds. I yeah. literally put it in there like I would box whatever one. I'd probably pick Mudkip. <laughs> no, that's not even true. I'd probably pick Mudkip because Mudkip would the best be good. One, Tepic, I actually, honestly, the more I look at it, I actually think no. group three is really good. Because Rillaboom is awesome. <laughs> no, Rillaboom is worse. I would, <laughs> out of all of these. It just doesn't excite me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, a regional form like would be not, nice on it. Out of all it's of these, not even that Grookey. I hate Sobble. I don't hate Trico. I love Trico. It doesn't excite me. I'm more excited about because I love Septile, so I don't need it to get something new. You know? I do. I do. I need it to get something new because I don't like Septile that much. I would be That's so excited because you're for a Trico. bad person. I'd be excited for Trico because it could go in a completely different direction. That would be cool. She you sure know? doesn't need to go in a different direction. Anyway, number four is the group that most people like, and I think that is the most balanced. Uh, like Game Freak wise, yeah. Like you got cool, goofy, yeah. serious. Yeah, yeah. I see. Group it. two doesn't really add up in like it's all just cool and yeah, not yeah. you know and the, and also but they both could do reptiles. A, they could do know? a thing where they position some of these Pokemon. See, you look at the. I think the final starters are cool, but I think as base, Sobble's kind yeah. of a scaredy cat, which is silly. I think Torchic in this art is kind of neutral serious and then snivy yeah. is the cool one so it does they work get new and they can also in the if whatever new configuration of starters we get they will get you know we're assuming they're going to get new art uh they that's will. updated for 2025 and what they can do with that is kind of twist what their personalities are a little bit and yeah. how they're depicted in the game they did that with legends rcs so yeah, they're, I, I they're guaranteed i mean even brian diamond and shining pearl they gave new art to the seno starters like yeah. they every they're, they're gonna get new art whoever it is 100 percent. and if they did that group two snivy would have to be in the middle i think it'd be snivy like in the middle and then the two other guys on the side even though the fire type usually kind of in the middle it's just like the you know how there's like a group leader of the yeah. starter trios Snivy's like standing tall above them all. Oh, uh, we did already um, that's get it from Oris, I believe. The, yeah, uh, that's really Oris. good. Torchic Oras art is really. N- right. I forgot I got an updated art. Yeah, it's yeah. Like-, like I said, every single time, like the starters are back in rotation for a remake, Legends game, whatever. They give it new Cute art. Little guy, dude. They already Cute got new art. That's crazy. I totally forgot about this. Yeah, except for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, those didn't get new art. Yeah, they did. They suck. They did. They got new art. Did they? It's just, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like, just like that 3D. It looks like, thing. yeah, it looks yeah. 3D. Like, type it in and you'll see it. Brandon, I'm trying to pearl stars. Oh, it, yeah, that doesn't count to me. Yeah. It That's, does count. It's, it's not, not you don't though, like but, it, but it doesn't count. No, so, you know why it's not art? Because it, it's not a new depiction of the Pokemon. It's literally just a. It is. Though. It's a 3D depiction. It is, it is literally no, but it's a, a new depiction. It's a 3D depiction of the old original concept art. Sure, but it, but it's still a new depiction of it. Sure. I guess like de- look yeah, look, okay, look, look. I'm not yeah. arguing that it's good. I'm just arguing that unfortunately it is new. And if you wanted <laughs> to the, go that route, you shows... could say it wasn't a game free game. Yeah, I think mm. yeah, I think that's what it really is. Like these this actually shows these Pokemon in new dynamic poses, new personalities. It's exciting. And what you're talking about is just a three render of a two D art that already exists. So mm, nope. Yeah. I don't think so. You should look it up because it's not that. It is like literally different they're like different 
than what their artwork is. Sure, it yeah, it's not different by much, but I did think it was different. Yeah, like Chimchar wasn't like that before. Uh, yeah. He wasn't. Oh, going no, like... that's true. That's fair. Yeah, they are brand new renditions. So this is the um, original. This yeah, is the original yeah. concept art. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is this is the platinum art. Platinum, which platinum, is very yeah. cool. Which is yeah, Turtwig. Okay, is, okay, no, that's Turtwig's a good point. such a good that's first fair. stage, man. Turtwig's so good. Yeah, Turtwig's um, good. That's okay. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for yeah. me, but no, not at all. <laughs> no, it, it's, <laughs> it's like, not. Again, it's like I am game. not arguing that it's good. It's just unfortunately, it is new art. <laughs> all right, let's check this out. Um, wait, What's one last thing on that. I made. One last thing on the starter thing. There's always a possibility that it's not the starter. Exactly. <laughs> because yes, who has okay, not said yeah, yeah, anything other than 358? Okay, that's yeah, yeah. it. Just 358. I think that he will tweet something else out that will make us think something else. A lot of people were saying 300, 358 days uh, slash two days, the Kingdom Hearts thing. Um, that would be that we were getting news like yesterday. So it didn't happen. Um, yeah. You see three, 358 slash two days. On yeah. Kingdom yeah. Um, Yo, but yeah, out. it's it's always possible it's something else. Everyone's yeah, running mean, with the starter I mean, thing. There's no I mean, because it's like fun. Her. It's fun. We, and have it's to, easy. we have to consider the possibility. This guy posts about quests all the time. We have to consider the possibility. This ain't even Legend ZEA related. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yep. And, and people should deal with that reality. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> because, and, it's... and let me tell you something. When that's it. <laughs> Don't it's gonna be, be it's gonna be a, a dystopian society over there on Twitter. Yeah, don't be disappointed. Oh, is this the new Nintendo Switch console? And this, yes, is, this is we do have the new Nintendo Switch console. This is called Alarmo. It's an alarm an clock, a sound reveal. alarm clock, and it's actually pretty cool because they hack. No, this is the most disappointing thing I've ever seen. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> honestly, know. it's a hundred dollars. <laughs> it no, but it's it's like a smartphone or a, a, it's like a smart watch. It's a smart clock. Do you want to know this is this and you is can the change of smart? This you is can a change waste the background. Of money. Why is it a waste of money, dude? I mean, on hundred dollars for me to change the for me to be able to have an alarm clock that either plays Legend of Zelda or Mario music in the morning. Fun fact: I can do that from my iPhone. I don't. Yeah, I mean, okay, on, but you I can mean, do on any Nintendo's part. But this Nintendo's is a convenience is a thing. It's a convenience money. product. I think this is not ridiculous. It's Every stupid. single listen. If if their demographic. It are human beings. We I was gonna say kids, but we all are wake they? up in the morning, and this could be a really cool, convenient thing for like Super Nintendo fans. Well, you're wrong. Their clock. demographic it's, is giraffes. It's literally so. no. It literally is for hardcore fans, though. Like it's it. honestly this is Nobody not even like crazy. It looks kind of oh clean. yeah. It, it looks. It's like clean. when Pokemon drops those like five hundred dollars like figures on yeah uh, or the Pokeballs. Um, like it's it's their market is you know that guy who's got like a decked out Mario or decked out Zelda themed. Bedroom, I think know? this is kind of. It, it does concern me, though. It does concern me, like who at Nintendo thought that this is just like, yeah, let's run with this. This is it. This is the, this is gonna make us some money. It's not. This is gonna make not make them some money. I'm telling you right now, the production of that is gonna cost more than whatever the heck they're gonna. I wonder. I I just think it's weird that they're launching it now and not in, in and and like like while we're all waiting for switch to information and they give us this yeah it kind of like, says turks, a lot man. about the switch well, too. i feel know? like so isn't it is better it, be compatible for, with the switch too <laughs> for, for like app creators isn't the goal for like an app creator it's like you want you you want the customer to use your product as much as possible and i think the it's like the most valuable real estate uh that an app Oh, like well, I don't know what the term is like an app creator, like an app can have on a person on whoever's device it, the app is on, is that like the like you basically the goal is to get someone to open your app first thing in the morning, right? And Pokemon right, Sleep right, right. has turned into that for me, and I think what I'm thinking right, about but now, is this does this actually no, it's different. It's different. Compatible with Pokemon it's, Sleep. It's at different, all? but if every time you go to bed cool. and wake up, you're looking at a, a Nintendo product with and you start integrating these Nintendo brands into your daily life. This is literally what I've done with Pokemon Sleep. It's insane. But it's got me thinking about Pokemon way more than I probably would have this year. 
Yeah. Like there's one more um, thing I want. <laughs> but anyways, I, I think I think this. what is maybe cool. Actually, that was pretty sus. It was like tracking your sleep. That's actually really yeah. It's sus. like looking at you all night. That's kind of. Yeah, I, I guess all I, I was gonna I think say we need to talk about too. But soul, I'm, I'm curious to hear if yours is the thing that I'm thinking. What oh, I'm just talking about the Poketoons episode. Oh, oh well. I, well, I haven't watched I'll, that. Have if you, you don't mind, I'll go first because it's related mm-hmm. to this Nintendo talk. Go for it. Um, did y'all see that? Like Walmart Canada posted like. When do y'all think the next Nintendo Direct will be? Which I don't know that's if that so means random. anything. Um, that's kind of cool. They're probably you know, just trying to draw. But up, this right? is it, it could be, but also like Walmart Canada is going to get that information ahead of time, right? Because they're going to open up. You know, they're going to have to be prepared to open up pre-sales for Nintendo Switch Two or any kind of game that's revealed. So you know, I I say that to say like I don't know. I I'm not well informed enough to know if there's some kind of history there that could mean that that's pointing to something but i've seen people on twitter uh, regurgitating that it is so i'm i'm you know really more yeah. asking yeah i don't think that it really says much cuz i think that they don't know either um but i did think about there it's a similar situation to legends of the 8 nintendo has announced that new switch so they're on a timeline as well like they have to put it out eventually like mm-hmm. something because they already announced it. I, would, well, I don't know if I'd that, play this, Dusty. Yeah, you'll you'll get DMCA like so quick. Really? Um, oh, for the I, well, yeah. how are we gonna talk about it? I haven't seen it. You can you can go to my Twitter. I posted everything tweet, about it already. Because he's got yeah. like uh he's got a uh, um pictures of it. But yeah, I think I think too like we we are in the time frame. You know, we got leaks last month of like the the supposed prototype of it and all and i think most people are generally accepting that those are real leaks i still don't know um mm-hmm. just because i don't i don't know you know i'm not well yeah, informed maybe. enough to say that oh this is for real but um yeah, yeah the, the fact that we're getting into that territory it just feels like it's time but it's also it's going to be funny because like you know nintendo every time they do some kind of presentation they've been posting the nintendo the nintendo switch successor will not be mentioned during this presentation and at some point they're going to reveal a direct and they're not going to say that. And everyone's yeah. going to know this is it. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, All right. So we got a new episode on. of yeah. po- uh, Pokey Tunes, which I don't think they've released one of these in a long time. It features this, uh, from what I've seen, this this young trainer and his Go-Goat. So that's yeah. already based. But the Go-Goat seems to be running around Lumio City. I'm, actually, this seems to be the whole episode. Is this the whole no, it's not. It's just I'm on. I'm on Soul's Twitter. You might should pause it though because it's like longer than 15 seconds. So yeah, I thought it was. That. Uh, I thought it was just a clip, but it's kind of cool. I think what really struck out to me. Oh, I keep pressing the music. Um, what really stood out to me, uh, with with the few oh. clips that I've seen without seeing the full episode, <laughs> is that Go Goat is jumping up and down the architecture of Lumio City, which I think originally I thought, okay, that would have to be, you know, yeah, it would be cool if there was a ride Pokemon where you can climb up the buildings, kind of like Spider-Man. Yeah, that that would be cool. But Goku's doing the trick right now. <laughs> I'm like, is this actually going to yeah. be a feature? Like, well, is that's, this so- that's how mountain goats are too, you know, like not with buildings, but like yeah, they're yeah. able to climb those ledges like that. So Dude, it, give it does that up. a grass rock Go Goat Evolution. Let's do here's, it. Here's so cool. I'll break it down a little bit for you quick. The biggest thing is that they showed a nimble in this. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that's cool. And so it means that this could be the Legend ZA version of, you know, like of Lumio City. Yeah. And so there's there's like an a whole garden area that they go outside of, and to get there they go underground through like tunnels and. It looks, if you go up one more tweet, the last one I posted, it's like literally like the catacomb kind of vibe. I don't know how much of this you could actually show. Um, like you can skip through it or as long as there's no sound or whatever. But the pictures are there and it's like they are under Lumio City. <laughs> and so it's like kind of awesome. It could be telling us, you know, what. Yeah. I'm not the only one that said this, but there's yeah. other people on Twitter that have been saying it. Like this could it's- be showing little teases of lumio city in legend za you know like for the what, record how it will work every other pokemon that appears in the short is in the callus decks nimble is the outlier so that is mm-hmm. interesting i will say what? I did someone under... check because that's huge yeah I, I checked i mean but yeah. you know someone fact checked me but yeah. uh like <laughs> caterpie weedle Belossum, they're all in the uh uh callus decks go um, go wild but it's just uh, awesome yeah, and then there's it shows also a lot like... of Palace Pokemon like Florgus, Go Go, Esper. Um, I do. Uh, I did respond to your Nimble uh, 
tweet though um just to say that i did in i think it was in twilight wings um mm-hmm. they uh they yeah. showed a scene where Nessa watches a dugong oh. jump out of the water, and dugong is not available in Sword and Shield. And in fact, a fun fact: the Pokemon Company had to apologize for this so, because of uh, mm. because of because you know Dexit was still raw. You know what I mean? Like people were still burned from that, and so they like people were livid about dugong showing up there when like it, and they had to like issue a thing that like. Recently, we had a video depicting a Pokemon that was not available so silly, in these games. So we silly. are very sorry for. I, I think that's hilarious. I'm cu- I'm curious. I would want to watch back some of these Poke Tunes because I haven't watched them in a while. But I would. I'm curious to look back and maybe take a look at how many are. Well, this is you know, new. Representative they're, they're of new like ones. what what whatever game it, you know that they're that they're associated with. Um, Most of them are not, but it's just crazy that it's in it's a. Lumio City centered one, and you see like all the city, sure. and it's very focused on it. But so the, it yeah. feels like, wow, they could be like showing us what they think about it, like the life that's in Lumio's. Like, sure, if yeah, you yeah. you got to watch it. It's it's if like, you watch it, it you'll like be cre- inspired. No, for sure, it's like the creators of this episode, and the creators of like the directors of Legend ZA, maybe we're sharing some of the same concept art in concept mm-hmm. direction I, I could totally see that and and then it, it is nice to see th- because we've only seen lumio city from the perspective and the limitations of pokemon x and y and that game engine so it is really just nice to see oh there's all these other places that maybe we can't go to in legend za but this is this is may this is still maybe the direction uh that like the creators have in mind which is maybe indicative of what we're going to be playing in 2025 i think it's really cool like this this little clip of gogo just hopping all around and going through the tunnel i do love that so much i just i think it's crazy that the catacombs could be real and that we could be going out into like the outskirts of lumio city where there's like yeah. actual nature and stuff people are saying like mega low kicks that's kind of a stretch to me to just see it there, but maybe it's a hint. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it, yeah, it, it's, record, it's a fun there's idea. There's no low kicks. It could be a regional low kicks. Oh, dude, that's yeah. insane. Like, that Nimble cool. could evolve into a Colosian low kicks. We yeah, don't see low sick. kicks in the trailer. We only see Nimble. Fun. Fun. This is what it's all about. That's super fun. Um, Them just showing. I love the little Phantom here. Just, woo. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely got to go watch that full thing. That is on the Pokemon, uh, the official Pokemon YouTube channel. If you guys, Japanese, after this, the Japanese one. it's only on the Japanese one. I'm pretty sure it's only the Japanese one. Yeah, so we're plugging it. So please, please, Pokemon, don't don't DMCA this video. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely go check we it out. Talked about uh, leaks the entire time later because it, it, <laughs> yeah. my favorite was always that Slugma episode, uh, the Slugma powered home. Um, I, I actually like the haven't watched little one. slice of life. It was so good. I actually haven't watched many of them, and I should. Oh, you know what? No, no. Blossom's Blo- Dream is also very Blossom's good. Dream is my favorite. Yeah, this little girl like gets she like wants a Pokemon. It's a classic like coming of age story. She befriends a Pokemon mm-hmm. in danger, and then it yeah, it's so good. It's so good. So just so you know, they're releasing new ones weekly right now. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so that's, that's why great. I, yeah. Yeah. Wow. All these old ones are from two years ago. That's cool. I love that that's so much. Mm-hmm. Um, and all you parents out there. Don't let your kid watch Coco Melon. Pull up some Poke Tunes. <laughs> I don't even know what Coco Melon is. Oh, you lucky you son of kids. a gun! Lo- okay, I have a little sibling who loved Coco Melon, and I hated him for it. No, All right, what, what I want to do now is thank our sponsors. But right after that, what we're going to be doing is uh, listening and responding to some of the voicemails uh, that you guys, that the community has sent in. Um, yeah, so let's thank our sponsors and stay tuned because we're going to be doing that next. Okay, so we want to thank our sponsors this month. First, we want to give a special shout out to our mythical tier sponsors Hayden Scout, Ryan, Amphosinus, Coronet Highlander, Tyler Low15, Primal Gray, Case, Stills, Sully the Skeleton, Matt Hale, The Pokey Kiddo One. We want to give an even bigger shout out to our Arceus tier supporters Young Smokey, Carson Kolbenschlag, Hayes. And then we want to give a Giganamax shout out. To our Game Freak Inc. tier member, Bramtastic. Thank you all so Shout much. Shout out to all of you guys so much. I owe some of you some battles in our battle league. I do owe you guys yes. some battles. I'm back from vacation. So, uh, yeah, you'll be listening to this tomorrow. So, please message me. We have to get some stuff mm-hmm. on the calendar. Um, but, yeah, if you guys uh, if you guys want to support the channel, if you enjoy listening every single week, 
Um, you can become a, a paid supporter on Patreon or YouTube channel members. You can get access to, uh, through that, all of our entire archive of bonus episodes uh, via Secret Powers. That's that's what we call the the bonus podcasts. Um, y- there's also discounted uh, discount codes for uh, the merchandise that we're producing uh, with uh, some talented artists. Um, you also get access to uh, the the secret Discord, of course, which is where you also can get access to the Battle League, um, the Hidden Power Battle League. That's been super fun, um, so so much fun. Uh, let me pull up right here, actually. Where is this? This is our new merch, our new spooky Halloween merch designed by our friend Noivy. Uh, this is available right now at shop.hiddenpowerpodcast.com. Links are in the description. Um, this here, let me get a bigger picture. Actually, get in the mood for the season, you Dude, know. Dude, where is the spooky month? Where is the? Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so these shirts have the same back, but they come in three different colorways and the colors correspond with the design that's on the front of the shirt. You can either get the purple haunter, the uh, pumpkin orange uh, colored Rotom on the front, or you can also get the spooky ethereal green uh, as Mimikyu on the front. Uh, this is what the designs look like. These are available as ball caps and they're, they are embroidered. Um, you can also get them as... Here, this is what the back looks like. It's a, a beautiful collage. Lumi, you ordered a bunch of these already, right? I I ordered, yes. I, I got the Haunter shirt. I oh, got let's go. a Haunter hat. I got Ooh. a, uh, a um, Rotom mug. Nice. And then I also ordered because, you know, I, I never did uh, before because I was moving and also, you know, was waiting yeah. on the finances to be in order. But I got uh, the Hidden Legacy shirt which you should also check out there's yeah. there's other we've got more than just there's the a lot of merch. lineup on there so you know check it there's all a lot of merch. out oh, the design in the back there's so many little easter eggs love to hear what you guys like um it, it, on this design there's look at there's a sable out here mimic there's a little game boy poke flute it's a bunch of spooky stuff from the from the pokemon universe and, and again it comes in these different colors um but yeah if you want to support the show you can buy a shirt if you want to support the show you can become a paid member and get a bunch of uh you can get access to a bunch of uh, perks, uh, but otherwise, yeah. Thank you guys so much for your support. Let's uh, let's answer some some voicemail uh, calls. Ooh. I'm really excited to do this. This is kind of a tech demo yeah. as well. <laughs> we're we just haven't... doing like one or two just to like try it out. Should yeah, we we'll, should we'll we plug? Going. We should probably should you plug the number? And yeah, I'm gonna say know. it right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh six one seven five seven five two six three one here let me that's that's uh, the number that you should call to talk to us yeah i'm even Uh, gonna you know like you leave a voicemail one more time 617-575-2631 leave us a voicemail send us your theories questions hot takes head cannons discoveries anything else that's burning on the inside of your brain uh and you might end up on the show. Send us a voice. And also mail. maybe go see a doctor about a possible stroke of <laughs> yeah, your brain is burning. Some crazy sounds in your head. We're gonna work on the layout, but this is our first caller. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they have to say. This is. Uh, you have to turn it up too. I don't know th- how. This. But... No, it's just it is what it is. Um, okay. This is uh, Lil Jim Whitaker. Uh, so shout out to Lil Jim Whitaker. Let's let's do this. Yeah. Hi there. Uh, I'm a big fan of the show. Uh, my name is. Little Jim Willikers. Um, <laughs> I live in uh, Sassafras, Tennessee, and I just wanted to say that I really like the show. Um, I also I love Soul Silver Art's hair. It's uh, gorgeous. <laughs> he he would be my top pick to play Rapunzel in a live action Tangled. Oh movie. my god! And <laughs> also, I agree with that little that little Dusty Go Go fella. I love me <laughs> some Pokemon ports. I would. Thank you. Dude, parts. He seems like such a nice guy. I, I thought it was this a woman. Like, That's a woman, I this thought. This should literally be a persona that you I mean, his name is Lil on, Jim, bro. so I'm assuming he's not, but you know. I don't know. That know. voice That voice was. That's so good. That voice bro. was given 
she needs her. to be kept forever. Dude, that's great. Um, so that was that was Lumi, I think. That that was Lumi. No, uh, but it was Lil Jim Whitaker. Yeah, Lil Jim Whitaker. That's Lil Jim Whitaker. Well, hey, Jim, Lil Jim, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, thank you, man. We appreciate uh, all the support. I do think so, Silver. So you got to do some acting with that hair. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that they can't see our faces though when we're doing this because that yeah. like the reaction to that I don't even know it I was just laughing bro. Well, thank you Jim for calling in. Uh, let's get to our next caller, Lil Jim. This is Jim. Uh, by let's see if the name um there's no name but anyways let's no play. Name. By anonymous. Hey guys, this is random. Doesn't really have anything to do with much of what you guys have been talking about lately, but maybe it does. I don't know. Um. But AZ's Floet, no one has really talked about the fact that AZ's Floet's unique and the color scheme is scarlet and violet, but yet it never connected to scarlet and violet. But was it a paradox of Floet? Anyways, bye. Yeah, I love this. So I much. love the ending. I love bro. this. I love this. I love this. <laughs> Anyways, bye. <laughs> I love this so much. This is so. This is something that I've talked about. I feel like I talked about this a lot last We've year. We've talked about this. I think on the show. Yeah, I think. But whole... it was a long time ago. It was yeah. a long time ago. I can. I could forgive them for not having. Uh, oh yeah, no blame. It. I was just saying this is like a big thing that people talk about. So like that's that's uh, you know. But I don't think people have talked about it recently. You know, people people no, the, no. people. You know, I think I think it's worth bringing back up. Oh, it, absolutely. It, uh, so, so uh, AZ's Floet is a special Floet that we don't really have a lot of information about. It just it has a different form. It's got different stats. It's got uh, you know, it's got some unique moves, and it was never accessible to players in X and Y, even though it's in the code of X and Y. And I think it's yeah, we see it. We see it in of, the game. It, it's in the code of um, Sun and Moon as well. Like they, okay. they kept it in the code, and it's also still in the we, code. Of Pokemon Help. We could do, we could do a whole episode on this. I did, um, like at least three, maybe four, huge tweets on this, like a couple months back. Just oh, you, how you, it could you did relate. this recently? Yeah, yeah, recently. How it could relate to Legend ZA? Yeah, um, because it is very connected. I think it will come back in Legend ZA. I think it might. Yeah, oh, I, for sure. I think there's some uh, good sure. possibility. Yeah. So but my like, actually as usable. The, it's called the Eternal Flower Flow at two. Yes. And now Eternal Paradox. Flower is too long for like the naming scheme of the game. It, it's more than twelve letters. And you, so but you're suggesting Eternal fl- me, fl- Eternal Flower Floet is like the paradox name. That's yeah, like saying. like you know you've got Walking Wake, Raging yes. Bull, Iron Crown, Eternal Flower. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it would um, make sense. So my, but yeah, is it par- a paradox? I don't know, but <laughs> just yeah, it question, might not be a paradox. But... Now that we know the full, because here's the thing: we we learned a lot about the paradox Pokemon, and in originally, I think a lot of people expected, or I think we were interpreting, we were predicting that paradox Pokemon were truly like, like ancient and future Pokemon. But really, mm-hmm. it's more complicated than that. They really are like different timelines. Yeah, uh, that they, are they, they are though from different timelines yeah older. but like it's not our it's not really our yeah same right. shared history. yeah i mean they are different timelines the professor outright says that the crystal pool mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah it's not like you know tyrantrum is a fossil pokemon that used to be alive that was resurrected right. uh right. Ra- uh raging whatever bolt or i don't know is that even one raging bolt yeah yeah raging it bolt is. is like i'm just like thinking of like adjectives and like nouns it's not a great one yeah raging bolt is just like like uh, th- what is that? That's Magnemite. No, bro. That's it's the no, Raikou. that's Raikou. Oh, Raging Bolt is Raikou. Great, 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 great. Yeah, Raging Dude, Bolt is not these actually. These comments are gonna Raikou. kill you, I'm, guys. I'm on one hour. Either sleep. him, either break. him or me, because I do not like. That's like the worst paradox is Raging Bolt. So I was think... taking some of that fire for you. Yeah, so yeah. I think now that I we have more heat. understanding of what the paradox Pokemon are, I think it's harder to say. Like oh, Az's Floet is a paradox Pokemon. Unless there's some act, and I still I still think it could be, as long as there is some additional connective tissue relating it to Area Zero, and not just like a pat like a an ancient Pokemon from three thousand years ago. I still think it's a possibility. Yeah. The funny thing though is, is when I first listened to this voicemail, what, what, what my brain actually went to was another cons. I feel like the there's like a vague archetype of. A Pokemon that was introduced in Gen 9. And that's kind of like the non-legendary legendary Pokemon. 
And we were doing a little bit of talking about this on Twitter this week. Um, but to me, I'm always thinking about, you know, Blood Moon Ursa Luna, right? This mm-hmm. one of a kind Ursa Luna that has made some sort of transformation that you can't actually access through normal means. It's a right. normal Pokemon that has become legendary. And I think in a lot of ways, the Paradox Pokemon also kind of feel like that, right? I mean, even though they're kind of more, they're more bountiful, like you can get a lot of um, Raging Bolts. You can You can get a lot of the, uh, what's the what's the Jigglypuff? Um, Screamtail. Screamtail. Yeah, you can get a lot of Screamtail, right? But that is a leg. it's like a, liter- a legendary Jigglypuff. It's like, what if Jigglypuff was way more fierce we can and, get into that as well because i don't know if you yeah saw let's get into it let's get this is what this no, is no that's this no, is what this is no that's like a whole episode bro we should get into like what's legendary or not like in in lore sure sure because to- should do a video toby, not. Yeah, yeah toby like uh just laid out a whole bunch of tweets and polls about that and i was like dude this is such a good no it uh, is it is well, let, let's get into it a little bit here we have someone asking about this so this is well this i is will the platform also to talk say, about it Legends Arceus connected to Sword and Shield and, like, just a few Easter eggs. Like, there was no real connective tissue between those games. I'm honestly kind of expecting Legends EA to be the same, where there's not really anything to Scarlet and Violet. So, you know, I think we have this idea, and it's a a good mindset to have, I think. Um, It it shows that you've got a big brain and that you have constructive uh, thinking. But I think we have this mindset where we want to connect all these dots but at the end of the day, a lot of the times, Game Freak doesn't. They do not. You know? Yeah, it's sad. Uh, Things get brought you know? up years later, which is always fun. Things get revisited. Yeah. And uh, sometimes things are, like, right there in front of your face, and they're just not mentioned at all, you know? Like, I, our little Kalos DLC and, uh, you know, AZ's Floette showing up at some point. Yeah, it's disappointing because I, really you know? I really do think AZ's Floette fits the archetype of a of a paradox pokemon 100% um mm-hmm. and it reminds me I and another pokemon that was introduced in generation 6 alongside AZ's Floet is Diancie and we know in the decks it says Diancie is kind of like a mythical pokemon that was kind of I don't know if it's like evolution is the correct term but it was born yeah, among no other Carbink which are uh, mm-hmm. like a pretty uh, boring it's a Pokemon that there's plenty of, um, and they just kind of like hang out in the mines. But then you have this one Poke, this one Carbink that kind of uh, evolves, maybe right. We don't actually it doesn't mechanically evolve, uh, but evolves into Diancie and becomes a mythical Pokemon, a one of a kind Carbink. And I think this is a similar thing. So I really, I, I, I really would say that's more similar to like Blood Moon or Saluna, honestly. Sure. Yeah. 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 But I, I think True. the Az's. I think you're correct. We probably can't relate Blood Moon or Saluna and Diancie to uh, the Paradox Pokemon, but I do think they probably they do. I feel like Az's Float is similar to that because we the don't we don't have thing... a lot of information about it. We just know that it, we just know that Az had a Floet, and theoretically, like possibly, his regular Floet went under some sort of transformation or maybe it was affected by the, you know, the fallout of the infinity uh, the, or whatever it's called, the the ultimate weapon. Um, and maybe it was changed in some way. The infinity over 3,000 years. I mean, the, the only thing to remember is exactly what you just said. We know that AZ has a floet. Yeah, yeah. No, AZ's know, floet not, is huge to the Not the plot. called something else. It is a floet. You know, a raging bolt is not a Raikou. It's a yeah. raging bolt. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, but Blood Moon Very or Saluna is an Ursaluna. Yeah, it's an mm-hmm. alternate form, but yeah. Floet's also a Pokemon that has alternate forms. My Yeah, so my, that could be uh, one more alternate form. You know? I, yeah. And, yeah, it, like and I, it does have increased my stats. Is in, like, in honestly, game. it's a flower that used to exist, that there used to be other Floets had this, but now that plant has died out, and so naturally, Floet is also going to die out, you know? Like I said, I could go into a lot of detail about it, because it just, there's a lot. Because like, <laughs> Because, like, there's red flower flabebe, white flower flabebe, blue flower flabebe, eternal flower flabebe. Yeah, but the, 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 I'm pulling up images right now. The only Loving thing I would... Loving said flabebe for all of them. <laughs> it was flabebe. Flabebe, but yeah. yes. The only I'd thing, thing I would say potato. is that the... Is that... A t- um, let me confirm this. A turn a beam. <laughs> yeah, so regular <laughs> floet, no matter what <laughs> the flower is, has, like, its body is the same with it, with its green tail... Right, it's got green whiskers or whatever, and then the eternal flower one. The flower's different, 
but it also has it's got this like the shiny it's different it's got this like shiny color to it where it's yeah I, where it's all blue. i would say that that's that's a result of the flower clearly sure, being yeah. a powerful flower you know because yeah. it also gets a new move and has better stats so yeah and like a lot of people say it can't evolve i would counter that argument by saying that just don't we know. cannot evolve it you know what i mean like we cannot breed a lugia but if you look at the anime you see a baby lugia and then sure. also just i don't know if y'all are familiar with how nature works but <laughs> They have to be reproducing, you know. Not There's necessarily. Lugias. I mean, is it a donkey that can't uh, reproduce, or is it a I mule? Uh, what? I have not heard this. I Wait, haven't what? heard that either. But that's yeah, there. Crazy, there are animals. What, what I'm okay, saying is that there are example. animals that don't that don't breed. A better example: we know that manaphy can breed. we we've seen a manaphy sure, egg. Sure, we have yeah. hatched a manaphy egg. But when you try to breed it, it'll hatch into a fiam. Yeah. So it's it, that's the way I see Pokemon like this is that their Floet, Eternal Flower Floet can evolve. And there are Eternal Flower Flobebe, or at least were Eternal Flower Flobebe, but you cannot evolve it. it it's yeah. also like how I explain, you know, uh, looking at the Hisui Pokemon, you know, Stantler used to be able to evolve. It can't anymore. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And honestly, that, that works with most of... That is that. That is how I look at the entire Pokemon universe. I'm like, every single Pokemon has the potential to evolve. That doesn't mean they all will evolve into any sort of thing. But I think there's there's always a in-universe potential where we just haven't discovered the correct evolutionary method. But there's also sure. the, you know, there's like, you know, the kind of the meta version where it's like right. l taking the perspective of the creators of Pokemon Game Freak. They just ha maybe haven't invented a possible way for a Pokemon to evolve. Um, sure. And I think, similarly, we also just don't know. I think, I love, I love this call, uh, the fact that, uh, and oh, I, love yeah. the, I love the theory that Eternal Flower uh, Floet there's could potentially so be a Paradox here. Pokemon. I do love that yeah. so much. Oh yeah, more. there's a lot there. It's just a question of if Game Freak will connect these two games because if they don't want Legends sure, yeah, to connect yeah. with Scarlet and Violet, then that's it. Yeah. Good. I would say more that it's, it's about them connecting it to X and Y than Scarlet and Violet. Like the whole paradox thing, I don't know. But them connecting AZ's Floet to, you know, X and Y, AZ's Floet to Legend ZA. Yeah. I think it's... That's definitely. also true because in a way it's it's a retcon, right? So it's yeah. like, yeah. do they want to do that retcon? And I think they like I think they like to leave things just kind of like open, you know? Oh, absolutely they do. We still don't know what Diglett looks like. <laughs> yeah. True. Or, or yeah, I know, the For Runus sure. Quartet. I'm like, are we going to learn more about those? That would be kind of nice. No. <laughs> um, mm. Let's uh, – actually, we have, one, uh, we have one more. Let's do – let's see. We had a lot of calls. Hold on. My bottom one that says sorry. If – I don't know if we want to do the next thing or not. I have enough time to do it, but if we were to end now, that's up to you. <laughs> Uh, we can go. We can do this. Um, let's do this one real quick. It's a short one. Yeah, let's All do right. one more. Let's do one more. Um, do that thirteen second one. I liked it. Thirteen second. Where are you? Right, you're pink, right below. Can you where see you're me? At. Oh, you can see me. Okay. Yeah, I can yep. see you. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Right there. All right. Uh, here's another question. Hi. Uh, I have a question for you. Um, what is your favorite season in the Pokemon anime, or what is your favorite series? Okay. That's my question. Okay, bye. Good question. Easy my enough. favorite season in the Pokemon anime, or what is your favorite series? The series would be like, yeah, series. The series there's like seasons like, within the series. Got it. Yeah, I guess so. What about you, Lumi? Um, uh, yeah, I'll take this one because I think I'm the only one who actually watched. Yeah, it. I, don't yeah, know I know. If I have an answer. Yeah. Unfortunately, Wait, I don't Dusty, because I know, I know you both have watched the anime. Yeah, I watched so what it. What have you but... watched up to? the third gen gen three oh and what you watched like through it or i did didn't even finish it no because i okay. i entered high school and i said i don't know yeah, no exactly. more. sure uh so what about you oh i've Probably watched just the, gen one i watched the first series and a little bit of gen two indigo League, and then and then orange i watched islands. like yeah no orange islands no the indigo was, league yes um orange islands, good. the uh what's the then I watched like half of Sun and Moon, and then I watched like half of Journeys, and I've been following uh, Horizons. 
since it's been I have seen happening. so I've seen all of it save for a few like filler episodes you know throughout different series but like I'm I'm still even the filler episodes I haven't seen I'm I'm familiar with yeah um but uh I am actually rewatching the anime right now I'm in gym four right now uh, I've this has been like almost two years now honestly uh but um I will say I think the Gen 3 anime is so good. It is. Um, the fact that you know, Ash has a moment, like I feel like Ash progressed from Kanto all the way to mm-hmm. Hoenn where he is like, he's a kid. Like I don't even want to call him a misogynist because he's just a dumb kid, yeah. right? <laughs> like like he's just, a, he's just a jerk to everyone, right? He's just arrogant, yeah. period. Yeah. But then like I remember, I'll great. never forget that moment where he's trying to like brute force his way through uh, Brawly's gym and he just can't do it. And he literally, mm-hmm. I remember he, I remember he yelled at me. He said, shut up. And that was a swear back then on kids. WB. That was a swear when he said, shut up. And then mm-hmm. he actually had to force in and, and, <laughs> and learn how to change and like be more strategic. And he it, like, and it worked with the mechanics of like the, the PowerPoints, the PP um, insane dude. That was actually like, like I still think of it so vividly in my brain. I love yeah, that it, series. Like I said, it's, it's a great series. I think it, it most i think it's very uh i guess like canonically accurate like yeah. it, it's it's easy to believe why ash is the way he is at this point like i've seen a lot of people say that like misty felt responsible for ash like she felt like it was her job to kind of teach him and help him and stuff yeah and you see ash take that same mindset and apply it to may which is really interesting and it's it's something that pays off too like may is straight up told that the reason she lost the grand festival is because she does her battles like ash and that doesn't work for a contest and like that's the thing is the reason she leaves the show is because she's like i have to find out how i do things not how ash does things mm. and that's that's so that's like such a big powerful moment that they don't have nowadays in the anime uh, or at least at the end of the ash anime um it also honestly look here's the here's the fact you know people can get mad at me but it, it's a fact the Pokemon anime is made for children, and uh, that's there's nothing wrong with that. But I say that to say that some of their filler episodes, especially like where nothing eventful is happening, are boring. Yeah. And I feel like the Gen 3 anime's filler episodes are actually really good. The vast majority of them, at least. Like, they're, they're lore-heavy, they're entertaining, mm. whereas like I feel like Journeys, which was the most recent one with Ash... The filler episodes were just not there. I mean, honestly, most of the non-filler episodes were just not there. Yeah. But Gen 3, I think, is peak. Uh, you know, I, I think there's other good ones, but I, I think Gen 3 really is the best anime. Yeah, that's, nice. that's good. I think Lumi answered for all of us. <laughs> so I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I haven't watched I just don't I, watch the, the first, anime that the much. The first one, the first one <laughs> is always going to be the best to me. You know? Gen 1 yeah. Yeah, it, it's really Gen 1 vibes because it's just super nostalgic and like being a kid yeah. and watching that on Saturday mornings. The best thing about the anime was just like uh, it was such a, a at the time when Pokemon was like top down 2D pixel art on a small screen. It felt so immersive to be able to like come alongside Ash, right? And, and, and the crew in like feel like you're like living through this like immersive Pokemon world right it was the most right. vivid depiction of the Pokemon world so I think that's what was always so special for me uh watching the anime growing up like it was just it was just a great way to actually like when I was and then I'd watch the anime and then I'd go play the game and in my mind I'm in the anime like I'm imagining the, right the the battles where everything's just kind of going like this back and forth in my You're mind, it's that. this like beautiful, vivid scape mm-hmm. of uh, of competition. Yeah, so good. Yeah. Let's do let's do uh, one more call. I got it right here. Um, this is by I think Hawkins. Let's see it. Hello, guys. This is Stranger Hawkins from YouTube. And I just Stranger Hawkins from YouTube. I've been a major fan of your podcast um, for months now, almost a year at this point, and I've always enjoyed your content. Speaking of which, I might become a channel member very soon. Um, but anyway, sweet, awesome. Um, I would like to eventually discuss things relating to Gen 10, um, perhaps talking about what you guys think would be the coolest feature that we could possibly see in the new generation of Pokemon um, that could be coming out within the next few years or so, um, but also stuff like cross-gen evolution, um, mm. a possible storyline for that game, and stuff like that. I've always enjoyed speculating about these new Pokemon titles. Yeah, cross-gen about, evolutions, Gen 10. Game, what can Game Freak come up with in the future? Because I feel like there's 
many possibilities and, and different happenings. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much my very short voicemail. And thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, thank you, Stranger Hawkins. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Were you guys able to hear that? Um, I'm hard well. of hearing, so not really. Yeah, so basically, yeah. he uh, basically he was just saying like uh, he loves the Gen Ten conversation. He also brought up like what kind of things would we want to see? What kind of cross gen evolutions do we think we would like to see in Generation Ten? Uh, Game Freak has a ton of possibilities, obviously, and this actually works out well because we just did a whole video, three hour conversation mm -hmm. about what makes a good cross gen evolution. Uh, let's do this. Just give mm. me like two uh, two Pokemon that you think deserve a cross like a cross gen evolution in gen 10 the first one that always comes to my head is noctel mm -hmm. um uh you know i'm biased y'all know i love my birds but yeah. noctel is an immediate thought of mine it is, yeah uh, that's classic because i think there's some pokemon that people say it needs a mega and some pokemon that people say it needs an evolution and noctel is one of those where i feel like a mega can't do it justice it no. needs an evolution tell um, me this we, we've gotten a lot of like regional forms and regional evolutions for like route once pokemon but not any of the birds i don't think or no we haven't gotten anything for the only thing that a bird has gotten is uh pidgeot to get a mega oh cool okay all right but that was already um, a three stage I, I could totally see a new evolution for uh knocked owl i would like I so the thing with knocked owl that i think is important maybe worthwhile to consider is that like like I like when a when a cross gen evolution adds a new typing, right? Yes, I agree. I think it that's should. really cool. Like, it should and add like ghost or psychic or something. I totally. think people think like weird psychic, year. so I kind of like the idea of it going ghost. Yeah. Um, just to kind of one eighty on us. And it's also yeah. not too uh, similar to the other Johto Pokemon that had psychic elements, right? Right. right. Like you have, you already have. Perigraph or Giraffe or and Perigraph. You have Stantler did get the psychic type when it evolved. So I'd say like. Let's explain this whole Noctowl can see ghosts, not yeah. by it being a psychic type, but by it having inherent ghost traits itself, you know? I like that would be cool. I like that a lot. Um, but uh, then, I mean, there's, there's anything so from many like later options, generations? Honestly. I think what's cool is like, w I feel like we can get. Alex, I've always kind of felt it That's just cool. doesn't feel complete to me. Um, yeah, but like we're talking about cross gen evo evolution. Yeah, cross gen yeah. evolutions. Yeah. I was going to say like King Gambit is brand new in Gen 9. And that's like, that's an evolution for Bisharp. Which is a Gen Five Pokemon, which is really cool. Which is old now, sadly. We I know, I know, but like that's, that. that's awesome. Um, it does feel a bit old. Oh, Scarlet and Violet has a lot of designs that I feel like are incomplete. People always talk about Scoville. Oh yeah, uh, I could see you know, that so easily. Um, yeah. Squawkabilly, so that I actually don't want Squawkabilly to get anything. I want Chadot to get something. Mm, I think fun. that would well be a good deserved. One. Yeah. Mm. Okay, what about you? So those are my picks or two. Birds, I don't Noctowl really Chadot. know. I'm literally looking through the entire. Uh, I, I know what Soul is going to say. Uh, I'm looking through the national decks right now and just like. Spide Ops or Ledian? No. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say Ledian. Yeah. I keep thinking Spide Ops. I, I don't have Spide the layout for it. I don't think right now. Maybe let's see. We did a uh, we did a video on mm -hmm. um what Maybe our cross gen I'll... evolution picks would be. Um, it's a while back now, but this is no. This is the thing that I bit. want right here. This is a. Yes, uh, this is what I want to. Can you see this? <laughs> this, this is, is by Squishy yeah. can Art. I see it? Uh, for fake I for fake Tober. It's a Gimme Ghoul evolution. It's a new dragon type Gimme Ghoul evolution where it becomes Gimme Ghoul basically takes the form of the dragon hoarding its gold, and this is the coolest thing in the whole world. I, so when I saw this, I was like, "Oh, Soul's gonna like this," and then you went off. On, on your I mean, own page. It's, literally? It's a long, slimy <laughs> dragon. It's so cool. Dude. I it's changed my so answer. perfect. I don't even know what to say. I, don't, I no longer want Chadot as my answer. I want I want to change that first soul, and I think you'll agree with me here. Seeking. Mm, oh, I thought you were going to say to this dragon. <laughs> to this to this Goldengo dragon, because it's so much better. Yeah. Honestly, though, yeah, seeking definitely could work. Though. On the con on the topic of a dragon type cross gen evolution, I could see seeking getting a dragon type evolution. Ooh, spicy! That's kind of cool. I just, I just love this because you know the whole like dragons and treasure thing. Yeah, like, that's what I'm it's saying. Such a no brainer. It's crazy that they didn't go this route. Instead, they just made a surfer guy. Yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> like steel dragon would have been pretty cool. Go check uh, go ch go check out uh, drama, go check out squishy art. Uh, this is their uh, this is their squishy art. So, squishy. Soul, I 
I skimmed the hard. cross gen yeah. evolutions videos and you mentioned Parasect and Lapras. <laughs> well then those are the two. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. What would I, I, do, I say? I like those. Yeah. What would I say? What would I say? You actually said Parasect as well, Dusty. I think I changed That's my for Gen answer 1. though. That's for I think Gen I changed 1. my answer to something else for Lapras because I think Lapras deserves a form more than a evolution, but Yeah. Anyway. I really do want to just see more yeah. Dusty said Skarmory. Yeah, Skarmory would be cool. I think um, I'm re I'm in love with the dragon scale evolution I made. It's like a fake mon f uh, evolution for Onyx, uh, where it's like this hmm. like it's it becomes a worm, basically like a like a ground dragon worm, which is I where I feel like Onyx always. I mean that is what it is, but it just actually having the dragon element is really cool, and like playing on e elements of like erosion I think is cool. Like a, a mm -hmm. um, like I'm thinking of like Zion National Park. Um, so well, that, I like I, the I think whole Onyx thing with really cool You have like Scyther. You give it this alternative to the metal coat. I'd yeah. like it if they did that for Onyx. Like, yeah, exactly. Give Onyx an alternative to the metal coat. Or just give that. more Pokemon the metal coat evolution. I think it was like sure. metal coat when that came out. I don't know if it was inspired by, but like think of like metal Mario. Like that's like a power yeah. up. You get the metal, <laughs> metal cap. Mario. Yeah, it's in Smash Brothers, but like um, even in the game, yeah. like you get the Just metal the version, it. and so. Mario becomes like full of metal, and I'm like, it's a metal coat. It's a metal coat Mario. Why just, can't any Pokemon have a metal coat? And then just yeah. get this like sleek well, they new can design. Now. Terra Steel. Yeah, right. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, since you said that, I think that my second, my two are this freaking Dragon Goldengo, and um, I really want. Scyther to get like become an EV and just get more yeah. evolutions. <laughs> no, that would be really I want cool. Scyther to get another evolution based on something else. I don't know. No, I love that so uh, much. Element, Dude, it's uh, crazy seeing this as a card because I'm like, oh, is it real? I yeah. actually like that one better than the gold one, to be honest. Well, it's a nice. It's oh, it, like it's silver. silver it's silver and gold. Yeah. It's awesome, dude. Ah, oh, dude, I love this. Too so good. Much. It's and too, you know what? You know what's I don't great even about it? No. Is it still What's goofy? What's a better fake mon? It's still yeah. goofy. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't disrespect like Goldengo. It's goofy but epic. Yeah. I was even saying like it could be a form of Goldengo. Just give it to me. You Dude, know what I mean? Honestly, like Goldengo just reforms itself. Nah, it's it just would a bunch have of to be like a different evolution because you think like if Clodsire is not a regional Quagsire, this cannot be a like regional sure, Goldengo. Sure. And I, like I was saying like just a, like a form change, not a regional, like a form sure. change. Like it be because it's just a bunch of coins. Yeah, like you can just, just reconfigure them in whatever position mm -hmm. you want. That's so just cool. Like dragon form, you know. Yeah, that's so cool. Maybe Pokemon number two thousand in uh, another twenty five years. Yeah, uh, will be um, a regional. Will be like an alternate evolution of Golden Go. Yeah, it could always just be like. Um, I lost my train of thought. Because <laughs> there are some variants of like the whole dragon story where it's like it's actually a person became greedy and so it was turned into a oh. dragon. Like, I yeah, that's cool. That's what I was gonna say. That like, works. it could be an evolution of Gold Dango, actually. Yeah, I'd rather a different form. That would be the only cool. thing is like it, it going it ghost to ghost steel to dragon steel or dragon ghost. It'll feel a little weird. Um, for sure. That for makes sure. sense. But that makes sense. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for the calls. If you want to call into the show, and we'll try to make it a little bit more present in the future. I think I'm going to throw it up into the banner. Uh, but to call in and leave a, leave us a voice message, it's a 617-575-2631. That's 617-575-2631. Give us your calls, guys. We want to feature you guys on the show. Hopefully, if we get enough of these, we're going to we're gonna just... Listen, we're gonna we be do talking, a whole episode talking to you, yeah. and I think mm -hmm. we'll just talk to you guys at the end of every episode. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. yeah, and then I guess also for housekeeping, like I don't know if this is available on like WhatsApp. A lot of people were asking if this, if this, if they can call in through WhatsApp and leave a voice message, and I really don't know. Um, I don't know how it works, but to me, it, I feel like it should work. It's, it's so this is a, this European is a Google, people. yeah, it's a Google numbers, but it's like it's rooted in a real number so you just have to call in yeah i think it should work okay yeah just depending look, on look guys look, depending I'll on your it. provider or whatever can you do it on WhatsApp? whatsapp I'll do it right now dusty what's yeah. the what's the um number this is on six whatsapp seven six one seven no, no, no. anything if anything i should do it because i'm in six a different country seven, right now no five, dude, seven, people five, don't right? people don't know how to do it on whatsapp look i am here on my phone 
And I've got the number selected. That's the number, right? Yeah, Dusty? that's the number. Two, All right, six, and I'm just going to call it. You're going to call it. Oh, you have to call. Interesting. And leave it. Leave a message and it'll pop up. Calling the Hidden Tower podcast. Phone line. Please leave us a message after the beep. Just give it over to Lil Jim. Hey there, it's Lil Jim Whitaker's <laughs> game. Uh, I just wanted to say. <laughs> That's going to show up now. I just got it. <laughs> All right, guys, call in. Please leave us your. We want to we hear it all. Your hot takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's I've, as easy I've as that. You death. just call the number like you're calling your mom. Yeah, questions, theories, hot takes, ha- anything you guys want. Up on her. Give us a call. We'll talk to you soon. Um, Yeah, peace out. Thank you guys so much. Sign up for the Patreon. We'll see you. Bye. Peace.